The Linea Aquavit Distillery near Oslo produces some two and a half million bottles a year of the clear schnapps. It gets its distinctive flavor from a coincidence that dates back more than 200 years. It was invented in 1805 when the boat, a brig called uh, Trondheimsprøve, went from Trondheim actually down, all the way down to Batavia and back again. The ship was loaded with barrels of aquavit aimed at opening new markets for the distillery. But it didn't work out, and two years later, the ship returned with its cargo of unsold schnapps. But it turned out the long voyage had mysteriously improved the flavor. And that, as this commercial shows, was the beginning of Linea Aquavit. Oslo's market halls are popular with gourmets. This is a great place to buy or eat fresh fish and seafood. Most people eat their fish with a beer and then maybe an aquavit afterwards, Norway's national beverage. It's consumed at room temperature, not ice cold. Norwegians also cook with aquavit. There are plenty of recipes, or use it to marinate food like salmon. 9,000 oak barrels are stacked here. Each contains 500 liters of aquavit. It'll be stored here for 12 months. These barrels come from Jerez in Spain. They have been previously used for Oloroso sherry, and we, going down to Jerez, pick out our barrels, taking them home, and we're just filling the aquavit into the, into the barrels. And aquavit is actually taking the rest of the sherry into the, into the product. In addition to the sherry, other flavors are added to enhance the basic potato distillate. We are now in the heart of aquavit production. This is the distilling room. Here we do distill the herbs and the spices which we use in the Lindy aquavit. We use caraway and we also we use star anise as some of the spices. We usually talk about the caraway and the star anise and the rest of the spices we like to keep as a secret. What's not a secret is that after 12 months storage in Oslo, the barrels are packed into shipping containers and sent on a long voyage. As in 1805, the barrels are loaded onto the deck of a ship along with many other goods. The ship then travels to Australia and after four months returns to Norway after having crossed the equator twice. When the aquavit is traveling, the liquid inside the barrels is moving and you have a different maturation than if the barrels would be lying here in the warehouse. After its journey, the aquavit is bottled. Each bottle's label includes the name of the ship, in this case, a ship named Texas, and the dates of the voyage. If you see through the bottle into the etiquette, you will find the date when the barrels left Oslo and you will see the date when the barrels with the aquavit arrived to Oslo. The ship is uh, carrying the aquavit into several harbors all around the world actually. It's the trip across the equator, the line, that gives the aquavit its name. The motion of the sea and the changing weather are the factors that make Linea Aquavit something special. Something reflected in the company's slogan, some journeys change you forever. <laughs>